The race continues in Han Solo issue 3. So in this issue, uh, Han reaches the next stage of the Dragon Void race, which required him to maneuver through a derelict shipyard for 12 hours straight at full speed. Uh, it was a really cool moment to see uh, in the comic and how they did it as well. Like the panel setup was really great as well. And it was an interesting take. Like, I thought it was really cool that they had this part in the race. And I'm interested to see what other parts they have between the planets, the stop-off planets of this race they have, uh, especially if they do in this one kind of early in the race. It's only going to get better, I assume, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited. We also took a break from the racing stuff to deal with Han's mission on the race, which is to find a rebel spy who all his other spies are being killed off, and they've got to find the one who might have the list of who's the spies in the rebellion who are the imperial spies in the rebellion and everything han succeeds in finding his uh contact who he then takes with him on this race and he sort of becomes a a passenger of the millennium falcon during this uh terrible terrible race this really dangerous race and the comic ends with them running into someone they know i'm not sure who it is i don't know whether it's someone from the old canon or not they ran into so many creatures back then uh he's like some tiger looking being and he seems to know Chewbacca and have a score to settle with Chewbacca so I'm really intrigued to see who this guy is. We also get more information about Lo Rey Anno, the supposed last member of his species and the little light things that are following them. One uh, last issue chose Han and is now sort of following him around so I think there's something a bit more to him this guy with these orbs he says they're alive and everything maybe there's some sort of probe droid or something for him and he's like some spy or something I'm not really sure what his deal is but he seems rather interested in like these races and everything and maybe because that, that this is his sort of thing like he, he's meant to be like the most legendary racer and everything uh, but I'm intrigued by him and he's a really cool looking alien as well really weird looking so I'm intrigued to see what they're going to do with him but this was a fantastic issue i really liked it really fun and fast-paced issue lots of action and everything in this and i can't wait for the last two issues it's going to be sad to see this series end so quickly as it came i'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10 Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my latest video, I hope you enjoyed it. While you're here, why not check out another one of my reviews, like and subscribe my channel for more reviews and videos, and follow me on Twitter at Matt underscore FOS. Thanks guys, and I will see you all next time.